guys, Mark the Mentor here back with another video. All right, this video we're going to be doing a profile of a company. Actually, it is the company that got my got me or gave me my start in the uh, final mile trucking business. Um, and it's going to be T Force, all right, formerly known as Dynamics, all right, T Force Logistics. And um, <clears throat> This is a company that you can operate in if you have a cargo van, sprinter van, box truck, and in your personal vehicle. They have a a, a, a courier a courier contracts, and they also do um, medical um, delivery. All right, so um, you you can op you can run this account. Um, they have some some accounts where you can use your personal vehicle. All right, so earning potential is going to vary. All right. I'm not going to dive into too much earning potential, but you can. Um, well, I know with the Sprinter cargo van, small box trucks for Office Depot, um, they're pretty much paying around about a dollar seventy nine per piece, depending on dollar seventy five. I'm sorry, per piece, depending on the market you're in, it's going to depend on the volume. Um, volume usually ranges from somewhere between 100 to 250 pieces. All right. Um Medical rates, I don't know. I've never done medical. You would have to inquire within. I'm just going to point you in the right direction. Um, so let's take a look at the website now, and then I'll be back shortly. All right, let's take a look at the website. All right, we got T-Force. Uh, the website is tforcelogistics.com. That's tforcelogistics.com. All right, this is the company that I got my breakthrough with with the uh, in the final mile trucking industry back when it was called dynamics all right so let's take a look at them all right they do pretty much everything from your personal vehicle all the way up to a semi-truck e-commerce which would be your um, office depot your granger if they still have it they do financial delivery they do business to business delivery they do big and bulky which would be similar to um like ikea when i was doing it for them when they had it back then all right this is a nationwide company they're all over the place all right, so let me show you how to get signed up with them. All right, so I'm going to be honest with you. They've never been good with keeping their website up as far as hiring. All right, I'm just going to show you real quick. You go up there to opportunities. You go view opportunities. We're just going to view all general wide scope. And you see they haven't updated it in 11 months. All right, a year, 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 year. Okay, so but they, they do hire, so don't be discouraged there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to um, good old Indeed. And as you can see, they have plenty of opportunities. They are more, um, they, they're over here uh, more often. All right. So this is, our, I don't know why I would rather use Indeed more so over than their own website. Um, but it is what it is. So here you got delivery service partners or delivery service providers. Um, and then here's the scope. I'm just clicking in this first market, which would be a l market close to me. Um, and it's just giving you a scope, what they're looking for. Um, sprinters, cargo vans, box trucks, delivering office supplies. Uh, we know the account is an office depot. All right. And then a uh, general, uh, what they're looking for as far as requirements, no earning cap rates are good. Local area deliveries, prior experience is preferred own or lease a cargo van sprinter or box truck this is a monday through friday account here lifting up to 50 pounds must have a smartphone no english valid license 21 years of age and a motor vehicle report background check 1099 and ein all right so this is for the office depot contract pays about a dollar 75 a piece uh average piece count ranges from about 100 to 250 pieces and that's going to all depend on the market that you are in and the route that you receive some routes are going to be heavier than others all right so you know all that depends on those few variables all right so when you get to indeed you just want to put in t-force delivery i put in delivery so that it can kind of weed out all the cda owner operator semi truck stuff um and then put your city over here and then you'll see you know if they have something to offer Minnesota, Maryland, um, you know, all over the place. They got stuff everywhere. Uh, like I said, it's a nationwide company. 
All right, but they also have a lane for medical uh, delivery. They also have a lane for medical delivery. So let's take a look at that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in T-Force, delete delivery, I'm gonna put in medical, all right? So I need to put a space there. All right, where's T-Force? All right, medical logistics. So this is for mobile phlebotomists, but we wanna look for delivery, hold on. Medical delivery. I know I've seen some opportunities. All right, so let me show you guys the website first. All right, so T-Force Medical Logistics. So basically, um, delivery of pharmacy, laboratory, hospital, medical supplies, things of that nature. This is a different arm to their freight business, and they operate it uh, like separately, even though it's under the same umbrella. All right, let's go back over to uh, Indeed. All right, so um, for the medical delivery, it just requires your personal vehicle. You don't need a Sprinter or a cargo van or box truck to do this, all right? Just your personal vehicle. Um, rates, I really don't know. I've never done medical delivery before, but I'm looking at this right here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, T Force Medical Logistics Delivery Service Provider makes anywhere from three hundred to four hundred fifty dollars a day. So there you have it, um, three hundred to four hundred fifty dollars a day um, doing delivery for T Force Medical, um, which is pretty good money considering that. Uh, let me take a look at this here. Let me take a look at this here because that's pretty okay. So. One of North American's largest brokers is seeking to contract with delivery service provider using cargo and spread vans 14 to 16 for box trucks and 24 to 26 boxes for a new contract we have starting up soon. This will be for local work around San Antonio. $1,000 startup initiative. All right, so th this particular one may not be for like um, um, like the uh, prescriptions and stuff. This may be for the hospital supplies they may be picking up and delivering hospital beds since they're requiring for a larger vehicle and that's probably why it's paying a little bit more i i don't see medical uh, delivery paying three to four hundred and fifty dollars a day so maybe this is probably for a heavier medical equipment like uh, medical beds maybe medical machines x-ray machines uh things of that nature but the opportunity is here for uh, medical delivery in your personal vehicle all right so t-force logistics just a quick review on the company from my experiences decent company i've had some i had some issues with them when we were there um the issues were resolved i'm not going to dig too deep into details because i want to deter anybody from applying in their market you know the issues that we had there um they were due to poor management so every branch in different markets are going to be managed differently depending on who's there you know here it was just someone knew all the time the people that were there were just all over the place and they really didn't know what they were doing i don't know what this market the branch is like there now but the issues that i had were ultimately resolved for the people that follow me for a while i this is the company that i had to issue with with the non-compete so, you know, it is uh, what it is. It's water under the bridge, but I'm always be transparent with you guys. But like I said, don't, you know, use that to deter if you want to apply with them or not, because every market, every branch is managed by different managers. And it's just at that time, the people that were there were just all over the place. My issues got resolved. Um, but for the most part, you know, the money aspect, you know, as far as what I was able to negotiate was top tier, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, I had leverage, so that's a, a, a technique that you guys are willing or free to use. Um, but for the most part, yeah, the money was always good with them, you know, if it was paid, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh and the opportunity was endless. I was running nine 
Office Depot vehicles a day and three for Ikea. And I always had the option to run more because people would never show up. A lot of people wouldn't show up every day. And I always had more vehicles that I could send them. So my opportunities at that company were endless and it's a it's a big company. So you can get in there with your personal vehicle. Um, you can get in there up to a semi truck. So I think for the people that are in, uh, with those cargo and Sprinter vans, Office Depot is a good account and they have pieces. They have pieces because you're going to be getting paid by the piece, about $1.75 a piece. All right. So the more pieces you have, the more money you can make. You can make up to about $425 if you're maxing out about 250 pieces. All right. So cargo van people, 16 foot box truck people, this video is pretty much for you www.boxtruckcourses.com for your one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, Mark the Mentor. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the upcoming videos every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. The Mentors Podcast with me, Mark the Mentor. I'm out.